Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. This is the first light blue metallic update S-Class we've had. It's a 2004 Mercedes S350. I've seen quite a few pre-updates from 99 to 2002, but I haven't seen an update in this colour. It's absolutely stunning, especially with the light grey leather interior. It's got two remote keys to it, and it's done 120,000 kilometres. It's got the newer fibre optics, because it's a 2004 model. And it's also got the much nicer looking five spoke alloy wheel. It's got a nice set of Michelin tyres, and this car was optioned with rear entertainment. They are very, very reliable, and I can say that because I've owned two of them. An 03 and an 04 S350. They've got the 3.7 litre V6 engine, coupled with the five speed automatic transmission. And the engine is also used in the ML350. And that's, and I believe the SL 350 as well. It's not used in the C class or the E class. The last service at 113,000 kilometres and it's been serviced well, what we can see all the way through. It's in particularly good condition, it's not had any major accidents. Even the soft close on the boot works, which normally doesn't, so I'll just close this gently. You may or may not have seen it, just sucks closed. It's not an expensive fix, but it's, it's just something which normally you know, needs to be looked at. I have driven it, and as I said, I've owned a couple of them. I'd like to think I know the difference between a, a good one and not so good one, and this car is a particularly good car. It drives absolutely beautifully. It's very smooth in its gear change. It's nice and quiet and I think is incredible value for money at just over twenty thousand dollars. I think you can you know tell quite a lot about a car even just by looking at the tires. The fact that they've put on Michelin tires means you know they're not one to uh, scrimp and save on on servicing and normal maintenance. You know they know that you know Michelin and, and Continental and the like are the best tyres and, and that's what they've used. The car has been garaged, you can see the headlights are nice and clear, there's just a reflection from outside there. Um, they all came with a two-way glass sunroof, Tiptronic transmission, memory electric seats, and if you can't get comfortable in one of these I don't think you'll get comfortable in anything. So there's the memory electric seats, automatic lights, So it's got a setting so that it automatically adjusts as a seat and the steering wheel when you get in. In the glove box, that's where you put the CD in for the rear entertainment. There's your cruise control, speed limiter, navigation, it's just setting up. At the click of a button here, you can stiffen the suspension, the car lowers a little bit as well. Uh, but if you've got a steep driveway and you don't want to scrape the front of the car, you can simply press that button and the car goes up by about five centimetres. But they're very impressive, they've got lots of timber. And look, in some ways, I prefer this being the 221, sorry, the 220, I should say. I prefer it to the 220 series. So I can rephrase that. This particular car is a 220. The later series in 2006 is a 221. The 221 is a lot lighter and to me just doesn't feel like it's built as well as the 220. It's got double glazed windows to help with sound insulation. And 
One of the best things about a car like this is brand new, it was two hundred odd thousand dollars. You can buy it now for just over twenty thousand dollars, and as I said, they're not expensive cars to run. The fuel consumption will be about fifteen litres per hundred kilometres around town. Well that's what I got, which really isn't too bad. And moving forward, I found servicing was anywhere from four hundred to eight hundred dollars. Um, if you, even if you take it to a dealer, I think it's around six fifty for a minor service and twelve hundred for a more major. And a lot of people worry about the suspension. I never had to do it in any of my cars. If you do need to do a suspension compressor on a, on this series, are about a thousand bucks, which really isn't too bad. You could easily spend fifteen hundred or two thousand dollars on a Toyota Corolla with some, you know, when it's about five years old. But the air conditioning is nice and cold. It dries particularly well. And if you've been looking for a 220 Series S350, this is a car worth coming and having a look at. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch our video, and I look forward to hearing from you.